morning. It's Tuesday morning, September 14th, 2021. And it's a pleasure to be able to share some thoughts with you from God's Word today. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota. And we're going to read Proverbs chapter 15, verse 29 this morning. And if you have your Bible on hand, open your Bible to Proverbs chapter 15. As we read verse 29, the Bible says, The Lord is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. And some people have such an erroneous view of what prayer actually is. You know, the Bible is very clear about this, that God does hear and answer prayer. However, he hears and answers prayer on the basis of the condition of the heart of the person who's doing the praying. In Psalm 66, verse 18, the Bible says, If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Again, in Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1, the Bible says, The Lord's hand is not heavy that it cannot save, nor his ear heavy that he cannot hear. But your iniquities are separated between you and your God. And so his hand is shortened that it cannot save. His ear becomes heavy that it cannot hear because of the condition of the human heart. When people are asking with sinful motives or with a sinful condition and not willing for God to do a work in their heart and not humble about their relationship with the Lord, God says, I won't hear their prayers. And so it's very important for us to have the right heart attitude when we approach God in prayer. He's not just a blank check. He's not our servant to jump and do whatever we ask him to do at our bidding. He is God, and he does care about his people, and he does answer prayer. But the heart of the individual must be right in order for those prayers to be acceptable with God. Let me read this verse to you again. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 29, The Lord is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. And when a person's heart is right with the Lord, Then they're on praying ground and they can ask something of the Lord. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 3, if our heart condemn us, God is greater than our heart and knoweth all things. But if our heart condemn us not, then have we confidence toward God. And whatever we ask of him, we receive because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. And so this goes back again to the condition of the heart and the individual who's doing the praying that they be honest and humble before God so that he is free to hear and answer their prayers. What a comfort it is that God knows our need and that he even understands, he knows what we're going to ask for before we even ask, but he commands us to ask anyway, and he is eager to meet the needs of his children. I believe God desires to hear from his people. But he wants to hear from people with a humble and a submissive heart. And so that's the condition that God places on getting your prayers answered, that you be willing to be humble before him. And once again, this verse states, The Lord is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. And those who will be right with God have a ready audience before the God of eternity. What a great blessing that is. Pray and pray appropriately and be on the right kind of grounds for praying. And God will bless that. And he'll hear and answer your prayers. God bless you today.